A vicious dog attacks a Middletown man, sending him to the hospital. And tonight, police are still searching for that animal and its possible owner as well. John Genovese is on your side with where this happened and how you can better protect yourself. John? Well, William Lynch was walking home when he says a dog popped out from these bushes, started running after him, and bit him. Experts say if you find yourself in a similar situation, you should try to get inside or try to find a barrier. And if you can't do that, stay quiet and stay still. I just don't want no more routine. For a decade, William Lynch walks the same route between the river and his home. It came from behind them bushes right there. Outside these apartments off Manchester near Verity Parkway, he says a brown German shepherd was on the attack. All I did do like a normal person, you know, stop. And it looked like he was going to stop. But then I guess the reaction of my arm coming back, I guess blindsided him a lot. Before I know it, he just latched onto my arm. Ripping it back, he says the animal ran off. Hey, guys, in so much pain and stuff, it felt like my arm went numb. William called his roommate, who rushed him to the hospital. Right there is two stitches. You turn around, right there is one. An animal's in kind of an attack mode and, and you're screaming and running, it can encourage them to continue the pursuit. Every year, Meg Stevenson with the Animal Friends Humane Society says more than a thousand stray dogs are taken in throughout Butler County. Under state law, owners are required to purchase a yearly license and keep their canines under control. Following these laws and keeping your pets confined is what's going to protect the community. Through it all, William says he's glad this incident happened to him instead of someone else. You know, just think an old lady just going to the store and just say it would attack her. You know, it would have been a worse outcome. Now, William received both a tetanus and rabies shot at the hospital. And tonight, if you know where that dog is or who owns it, the Butler County Dog Warden is urging you to give them a call. For now, reporting live, John Genovese, 9 on your side.